water patrol. And um, one of you guys stayed near the back, and one of you guys stayed near the front, I would say. And then um, we need a couple volunteers to help get people out of the water. So okay. the exit here, there's only like one good spot to exit, and we'll have the, our volunteers there. Well, after you finish, can you help out? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, um, you can get Will, Bill, or one of the Okay. Okay. And then um, we'll have somebody with the <laughs> bags. You can put all your shoes in there, and they'll bring them back over. So, so go over in a pair of slippers. So you're gonna jump out of the water, run up here to your bike, um, change, jump on your bike. You can mount your bike anywhere after that route. See the rocks right there? There's a route right in front of it, okay. kind of a natural line. That makes sense to mount there, but just go on the other side of the rocks and mount there if you want. So um, there is actually a little trail on the other side of the route you can shoot out, but it's just Never mind. <laughs> All right, so the bike, what you need to worry about on the bike is, well, you, you know the route, right? It's two loops, and then um, there are a couple of tricky sections. I think there's three, and we've marked every tricky section with three lines, three horizontal lines. When you see those, if you haven't ridden it already and you see those lines, you might just run it the first time, check it out. It's, it's, it's kind of, you have to slow down to maneuver through it anyway, so it's not going to be that much slower. But maybe the second time around you can, you can hit it. Um, the third section, you definitely want to do that correctly, because then you fall into the big hole and you don't. So, you haven't ridden that one, walk that one first the second time around. It's, it's actually a very easy ride, but if you're weren't aware and you did something wrong, <laughs> you couldn't get into trouble. So, um, two loops, and then we'd come back in, you're gonna ride back in, jump off the bike at the route, and then rack your bike, and then you're gonna grab your water bottle. Probably not gonna be so stringent on the water bottle. When it's hot down here, it's a really hot run, and there's no water out there, so we make everybody run with the bottle. Um, I don't think we really need to worry about that today, but. I would still take a water bottle with you. Um, so you're gonna head out, turn left at the chain link, the chains covering those ballards, and you're gonna run over to the red uh, building, and Bobby's gonna mark it with some little orange flags. And then after that building, there's a there's only one way to go, and it goes through the a uh -uh lava flow. And it's really treacherous. And uh, so be careful. It's it's fun, but treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> and then it pops you out Same right sense. on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I'm through the lava. And then you're in the sand. So <laughs> from there, there is a trail that goes across the top of the dune. You can take that if you want, or you can run down in the water. And uh, just it, from there, it's like however you want to go till you run into Bobby and he'll take your number turn around and come back. It's Where will he be waiting? On the beach? He's gonna, you're gonna do the Hiding. three beaches and then you hit Hiding. these pine trees oh, yeah. again. Uh -huh. He's gonna be right there. Right before like you go to that next bay, like where the yeah. shaft guy house. is, the guy, Just the guard guy? Yeah. Guy. yeah. Past oh, that. right past that house? Okay. Yeah. He's gonna be incognito though. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's gonna be hiding. To yeah. yeah. And there's no aid on the run. So you have to take your own nutrition. Yeah. So I think you put some flags up there. Yeah. 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 Can I say something about the run? Yes. Last year on the the gate where there's a little chain, it's just a little chain, but it's about one and a half feet high, and I saw two or three falls there. Yeah. Mm. Like it, it's just a little hop, but when you're tired, a little hop, like you can miscalculate. Yeah. So we if you fall, it's okay. Very People true. fell there um, three times Jim last year. And so. her group is gonna be there. Thanks for the warning. Yeah. yeah. I saw you calculate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Such a math, like, so um, like, like, let's okay. all grab our swim stuff and start heading over and get this thing going. We should be starting right now. That's Grant Miller from uh, he and Janet yeah. Miller from Bike Works, yeah, yeah. Bike Works yeah. Beach and Sport, and Bike Works Kona Beach and Sport, and Bike Works Kona. I bought my first uh, mountain bike from Grant probably 28 years ago when he had a little kiosk and now he's put thousands of bikers, locals and visitors out on the road here in the 
Islands of Hawaii, and this is Janet. What a great organization they've set up here. Wow, all of a sudden it materialized. Like nothing to it, right? <laughs> it's all good, it's all fun. It's great, it's fantastic. I spent the money to buy it. That is true. That is true. So, it's the Emily T. Gale Show. Grant and Janet have been longtime supporters of the Emily T. Gale Show, longtime friends. And I'm a volunteer, so I have got to get on my bike and ride back up the, I think it's about a two mile trail up to the highway. So Brent, have a good day. Thank you. Aloha. Is that Nick? Yes. Hi, have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get up to my bike, which is right up here. And a good day to everybody. Aloha. So here we are at Keikaha State Park on the Big Island of Hawaii, and it's the Goatman training run across the lava and every kind of terrain. It's raining this morning, so I'm going to hike up to where I need to go as a volunteer and signing off uh, here on the Emily Tukale Show. Aloha.